Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of wide receivers who certainly want to be targeted throughout the game. It's Watkins' it's Rams going up against Beckham's Giants. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their men in blue emerging from the MetLife tunnels. We're set to go as the Giants get ready to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. This is fielded at the goal line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Last year's number one overall pick. Here he comes. He'll be leading them and looking for an improvement in year two. Jared Goff. Didn't play in a traditional pro-style offense in college. In fact, at Cal, he played in what they call the Bear Raid. Threw it around a whole bunch. 96 touchdown passes in three seasons. This guy took the ball from game one as a true freshman and never missed a start. So he has a great amount of toughness as well as the ability to throw the big-time ball downfield. the first carry now for Todd Gurley trying to run inside but nothing there call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down and the buffet boys the O-line hopefully they're ready today listen you got to feed them first but if you do you usually get a great product out on the field and when they play well the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Again they run with Gurley. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. And quickly the starting 11 now for the New York defense. Eli Apple was the second defensive back taken in the 2016 NFL draft at number 10 by the New York Giants. And while he battled a few injuries along the way, I think the Giants are really satisfied with what he did in his rookie season. He has excellent vision, understanding what people are trying to do when they're running route combinations in his area. And he's also a very willing tackler in the run game. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. It's gone. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard. And it's fourth. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. It's Johnny Hecker now, an all-pro three of the last four years on to punt. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And it'll be giant football first and 10. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time pro bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. Had another nice season a year ago. His sixth 4,000-yard campaign, but even more importantly, 
get his Giants back into the playoffs with an 11-5 mark after three straight losing seasons. forward to about the 27 yard line two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight and this old line it is the lifeblood of the offense they establish the tone mean nasty physical they can't wait to get after people that allows the rest of the offense to feel confident and they still need eight yards for the first here on second down Again, they go to Perkins, and he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be third down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Shotgun now for Manning. He's going to wind up and air it out. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. And that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. The fourth-year man from LSU, Brad Wing, to punt it away as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. This is taken at about the 14. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> They go play action here on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. From the gun on third down, gone. And this is going to be incomplete. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. Here's Johnny Hacker now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. 
This is taken at the 23. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> They'll let Perkins carry to start the drive. Stop shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. Official foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoyed the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The starters on defense here for Los Angeles. I got a kick out of talking last year with Aaron Donald about how when he came out of college, many NFL teams thought he might be undersized to play defensive tackle. Instead, he's been a perennial all-pro, Pro Bowl player since day one, and offenses are still searching for ways to block him and keep him from disrupting their offense. Second down following the run. Here's Manning to throw. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. From the gun, it's Manning. And that is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Here's Brad Wing now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. They go play action with Gurley. Now golf. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground.
Here's Goff now on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. Now he is going to feel that one. Knocked down hard at the 49. That good for 19 at a first down. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. Going deep here for Watkins. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Man, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Second and ten, golf. Dumps it off to Gurley. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. It's a gain of five on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Here's gone. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Damon Harrison able to drop it for a loss of 12, and it'll be fourth down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? Play fake here on first down. Over the middle complete. That's King. And he's brought down after a good gain. A nice gain of 21 yards. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Oh, 
on play action. It's Manning. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. Second down, Perkins. The broken tackle, but couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. Call it a three-yard gain, but they'll be forced into a third and 15 coming up. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game, the effort of the man with the football, getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage, I really liked what he did there. Third and long, it's Manning. Throw left side complete, it's Shepard. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Here's Brad Wing now, as he's on to punt for New York. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The Giants defense getting ready to go here. And as we're going to see right here, they have been laying some pretty electrifying hits in this one. And these are for real. Okay, as you watch, think about putting yourself in that spot, about being the ball carrier or the receiver. I don't want to. And then taking that shot, it, it is something else. It's not like when we were watching that, that video clip where they showed you how they make sounds for movies. <laughs> this is for real. Play action. Here's gone. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. as a coordinator, get the ball in the hands of my best player and see if I can salvage anything out of this drive. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From the gun, here's gone. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Well, we could counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third in a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. is the punter Hecker as he gets this one away. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And the Giants ready to come out now. The results for them so far not that great, though. 
not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet, trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice, and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play call in section and try and run some offense that way? The drive starts with a run by Perkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only the control and things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. On first down, Manning. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down now after the pass completion. And before they can get settled in here, time expires. All the first quarter of action. Nothing, nothing, our score. Back to MetLife Stadium in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. They've got it second and four to start things out. of six. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. Operating from the gun. Manning keeps himself upright. And this is going to be incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here's Brad Wing now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Start out on the ground with Gurley. Room here to run. Now Gurley staying down. Well, let's hope he's all right. 
We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. On second down, here's gone. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target, and it's third down. Well, not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Throwing on third, gone. And incomplete here on third down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big head on them as they try and catch the ball. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Come the Giants. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. There's Perkins on first down. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. I'd say the staff that's up in the booth watching the game, they may want to file that one away. Do you see how fast the free safety closed to make that play? Might want to check into a throw the next time. He gets this up near the 10. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run.
The Giants on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun, Manning. And he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber to a guy who can complete everything. He can hit him underneath now, yeah, can Yeah, we just saw that there with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taken with the defensive given. on the give from Manning. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Second down. Caught right side. It's Lewis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Throwing on first down is Manning. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. throwing on second down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Robert Quinn, the outside linebacker, drops him for a loss of six. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. Operating from the gun, Manning. Well, he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up fourth. The third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. The punter wing is on as he sends this one away. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. 
And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he's brought down after a good game. That one goes for 24 yards. When I watched Jared Goff on tape at Cal, I saw a guy who wasn't just a dart thrower. You know, a lot of people said, ah, oh, he's perfect for the West Coast offense. I always thought he could do a little bit more, and that was the reason why. He can push it downfield. He has a good, strong arm. First down, it's gone. Right side complete. That's Woods. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen. And they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Throw on second down is gone. Staying on his feet. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Olivier Vernon in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Goff now looks to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Olivier Vernon in there again to drop him for the second straight play, and it'll be fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this will be taken at the 13. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one may be not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. Going to give it to Perkins. So an agile move, but not a big gain. Down right near the 25. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. 
But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. On second down, here's Manning. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Dancing away at the 35. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. After that nice game there for the rest of the game, the defense is going to have to respect the running backs as passing threats as well. Not just play them strictly to run the football. They may be able to get downfield and catch it too. And down to the 36-yard line here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Play action, Manning. And the third down pass falls incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. On fourth down, off goes Manning, and on comes the Giants kicker, Aldrich Rosas, for the field goal try. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. But he will be stopped behind the line as he will not come close to the marker. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll have Larry Ridley's highlights, but points obviously hard to come by in this first half. Larry will be in Orlando with our halftime report in about two minutes' time. Yeah, he and his staff, they're putting together nothing but defensive highlights from the first half, and there's nothing wrong with that as far as I'm concerned. down. Gone. Open man right side is cup complete. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did. And obviously they liked his measurables. Otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Now the offense lining up first and ten. To throw is gone. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back. 
A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. It is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43 yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing again is gone. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And tough starting field position here. give it's Perkins and he'll get this only up to about the three yard line credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine well not a game that you're going to go crazy about but when you start at your own two yard line any type of space is good for the offensive guys yeah you just can't go backwards from here they did it now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down It's Perkins, and not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. The Giants on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and seven. Now a first carry here for Shane Vereen. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So here we go, first and ten now. They run with Perkins. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout.
And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. One final try now for Manning. Looking for Shepard deep. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Thanks, guys, and welcome, everyone, to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the scoreless first half of play. It's a 0-0 game at half, so both sides obviously love their defense and hate their offense. Moving forward, we'll just have to see if it's the first to score that wins. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. First and 10, Hill's able to zero in on the QB here. This will go for a loss of eight. Now first and 10, Collins gonna push his way to the QB here. This will go as a loss of 10. brought down until he makes it to the 43 yard line thank you mr ridley a scoreless first half and now we're set for quarter number three Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Giants' offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll see which avenue they choose to go down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Shotgun now for Manning. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Manning. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. 
A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Now Perkins. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Throwing his Manning on third down. It fights him off. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Michael Brockers in there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Brad Wing now as he's on to punt for New York. So possession goes over here on the punt and the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Here's Goff now on second down. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And down he'll go at the 25. That catch good for five. It's third down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Goff on third down. They got a man. It's Woods. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Goff hitting Woods for a Rams first. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And to give this time to the tailback. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. Out of 
the gun. Gone. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. The 30. 10. Touchdown, L.A. Sammy Watkins, 70 yards. And the Rams are in for six. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically. Because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. But they certainly got dented with that first down run, so now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. From the gun, Manning. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? They'll run here with Vereen. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different, try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. Here's Brad Wing now as he's on to punt for New York. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. <laughs> so a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 
And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one. And it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Second down following the run. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They go play action here on first down. That's caught by his rookie tight end. It's Gerald Everett. That one goes for 24 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. of two and that'll make it second and 12. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push them back more. They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So that one will be accepted. Play fake here on first down. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Robert Woods, 27 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Oh, 
Zerline now for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14 0. Five plays there on that drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The New York set to take the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots, but what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. the 35. They pick up 12 on the play there and they move the chains. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So they pick up the first down after the run and now they approach for the fresh set. Going to give this time to the tailback. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Charles, I know it's hard when live bullets are flying, but you cannot keep your hand up around the face mask area. It is absolutely inexcusable nowadays. We talk about target areas all the time. You have to aim lower so that your hand doesn't get involved in the face mask. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Working from the gun, Manning. Wide open receiver complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Giants on third down, just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This is third and four. Operating from the gun, Manning, and he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down.
Here's Brad Wing now as he's on to punt for New York. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. Getting set to go again here, Robert Woods marches back onto the field. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But, boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, make, you do. It you get you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. And not great starting field position here for the offense. They run the counter now on first down. And he'll go down for a loss inside his own five at the four. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. And he'll give it here to his running back. Look at the spin. Balance. Tavon Austin, he's going to go. The 40, the 20, 10, five, touchdown L.A. Tavon Austin, 96 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Zerline out now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. 
it'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise. And now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Manning to throw on second down. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. They're looking at third and a few inches. From the gun, Manning. And that is incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run. It's Perkins. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They'll give him a yard on the play, and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. If he indeed got it, he didn't get it by much. This is a great push up front, but I think the nose of the football does make it over the line to gain. And whoa, that was definitely cutting it close. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Operating from the gun. Manning and complete to Lewis over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Manning going to give to Perkins on the draw. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Two running plays, each lose a yard. They'll need to do much better now on third and 12. On the run, here's Vereen. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that big-time penetration, and throw people for losses.
Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Now Manning, got to have this one. And it is incomplete. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? All right, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. Now they try the right side here. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Play action. Here's Goff. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. And now a first down following that long gain. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. Play game offense. That's going to set them back five yards. Still first down. First and 15 here behind the chains. <laughs> Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Offense. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Oh, 
On second down, here's Goff. He's going to air one out. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Zerline now for the PAT. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Just a four play drive that time. And the result for the Rams a touchdown. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Throwing on first down is Manning. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. And it's second down. Second down now after the incompletion. To throw again. Manning. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on. Third down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Try to lay one up deep. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. And those numbers, they kind of tell the story of his game so far. Started off not so hot. Now he's really heated up. And remember, he signed up for duty as the guy who leads the team, right? The field general, the signal caller. So when things go rocky early, 
He can't just exit out and ask someone else to pick things up. He's got to do it himself, and that's what he's done here in this game. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. For that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. And now the offense operates in the red zone. Another carry now for Gurley. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Now it's gone. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. To throw on second down is gone. Incomplete. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. The offense on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and goal. A shotgun snap for Goff. And it's caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. Nice completion, nice gain. Great tackle. Really good tackle. Kept him in bounds, kept things going. What do you do here? That's the question. Let's see what they do. So on fourth down, Goff will yield to Greg Zerline for the field goal try. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Zerline's kick is good. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he's got Rome. Even after that big time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, they can turn to this play and say, hey, we can move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. And the Giants ready to come out now. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you happened there. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. That is 
is caught at the seven. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So they're operating in the red zone. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. From the gun, Manning. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line, Robert Quinn. Not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Manning the throw on second down. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Connor Barwin in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. So when you have good field position to start a drive and you give up back-to-back -back sacks, that can be demoralizing for a team. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. They'll run. It's Vereen. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Only able to pick up a yard, and that's going to leave him with a long fourth and goal. Another stop on third down, and this defense still hasn't allowed a touchdown to this point. On fourth down, off goes Manning, and on comes the Giants kicker Aldrich Rosas for the field goal try. This a 33-yard attempt. And the kick by Rosas is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. Well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out, so it's hard to blame them for taking the three there. You can't blame them one bit. It hasn't been the best performance, that's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting to avoid the goose egg. And they're at least trying to finish out strong. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical.
Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Oh, spinning away. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. and gives to Gurley. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, Goff will yield to Greg Zerline for the field goal try. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. And New York set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. On first and 10, here's Manning. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. But they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Fresh set of downs here. To throw, it's Manning. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. That throw good for four. It's second down. Now Manning throwing on second down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's King. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. down and no escaping this time as he'll go down they got him for a sack 
Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Second down, here's Manning. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and that'll make it third down. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise. They're in the dime. Shotgun now for Manning. He's going to let it fly. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And we're hitting the end of this one, and it looks to probably be the final play. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Are you I, one of those guys I'm a little skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. Got your notes laminated, because, you know, open air boot. That rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly, wise beyond his years. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.